Um, another thing a lot of people say they need is like customizing jerseys and stuff. And I think that would be cool. That would be a great idea. But, um, you know, I don't, I don't think FIFA really needs that because there's so many jerseys out there. If you can think of a jersey, it's probably somebody's, you know, badge and crest and everything. You know, it, I don't think that's really a necessity. Um, I would like to see them fix some of the other things, like the gameplay, getting rid of chemistry, um, you know, making tournaments that are actually fun. I remember one year they had some sick tournaments. I used to make teams just for the tournaments, and that was really fun. Uh, they never do anything like that anymore. Like, or they do, and they're just like, what the fuck kind of tournament is this? Like, I need 11 players from 11 different countries. Like, fuck off. Like, how the fuck am I supposed to make that shit when you have this stupid chemistry fucking shit? You know? I don't know. I don't know. Another thing, too, about the Ultimate Team is why the fuck do they not record the statistics for when you play? Like, it'll record the goals scored by whatever fucking player and his red cards and assists. That's it. It doesn't record clean sheets. It doesn't record tackling. It doesn't record their match rating. Like, why can't we record that? And why is the leaderboards just fucking how many coins you get from the games? It doesn't show anyone's record. It doesn't show what division they're in. Uh, like, these are like, I mean, just off the top of my head, you just realize, you're like, why the fuck isn't that there? Like, I look at my friend's leaderboard, I'm just looking at some random fucking numbers. What the fuck does it mean to have your team's worth? Like, what is that? What even is that? That doesn't make any sense. It's not explained. They don't explain it. But every fucking year since, like, FIFA 11, they've had it as a leaderboard. But they don't have, like, average goals against or average goals scored as a fucking leaderboard. Or, God forbid, they show what division you're in or your fucking record. No, they have fucking club worth. Like, what the fuck is that? Such bullshit. God, it's just making me so mad thinking about it. Because it's so obvious. It's so obviously lacking. I mean, god damn. I mean, don't even get me started on playing against your friend and you can't even play a fucking full game into penalties. Like, the fuck is that? I don't know if it's still like that, but still, that was fucking bullshit, too. Um, oh, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to talk about. Definitely keep in mind the 2K shit, because that's real, you know. Um, I just hate, I hate fucking opening packs. You never get anything. Like, anything. I mean... And I'm not saying that everyone should be able to get Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm not saying that. But you should be able to... You should be able to get him if you work hard enough for it. You, by playing the game, not putting money in, you know, and opening packs or, like, if you, that's another thing. The fucking coin things where you could buy coins from other sites. Like, why are you getting mad at people for trying to do that when you make your game so impossible for anybody to fucking play? Like, that's some bullshit. It's all about the money. Because they want the money in their fucking pockets. If other people are making a more sensible in a realistic way, so that you're guaranteed to get the player you're going to pay for if you're paying like $100, because you could pay $100 extra on top of the $60 you pay for the fucking game, and you could still end up not getting fucking Cristiano Ronaldo, that's how expensive these motherfuckers are, and someone did that, like, they did the statistics for, you know, how, uh, they did, the, they did the statistics for how much he costs on the market, right? And how many games you'd have to play. It's, it was, like, ridiculous. You'd have to play the game for, like, two years straight just to get him. And, of course, by then, the new FIFA is out, and he's completely worthless. And it's just, like, it shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be like that. Because reasonably, reasonably, I think the highest amount of games I've played... It was probably like two 
or 300 games. And that's a lot. That's, that's almost one every day, right? For an entire year. And, you know, I had a lot of money on that, but, like, I also pumped a lot in to open packs and shit because I was really into it that one year. And, you know, I, I pulled some amazing players, and I still couldn't get Ronaldo. And it's kind of frustrating. Or messy, even. Because you want to be able to try out the best players in the world. That's why you buy the game, right? So, it's just... It's curious to me as to why people, you know, play Ultimate Team so much. When you could just simply go into Seasons mode and use Messi all you want or Ronaldo. And, you know, I... I kind of believe that Seasons Mode is better because of that. I just don't... Because there's not enough creativity in the teams that... You know, there's really any purpose in playing it. And it's because of chemistry. And it's because of the packs that make it impossible to get your favorite fucking players. And I'm not saying... like, Don't get me wrong. It's annoying when you're playing 2K and everyone has LeBron James. Like, okay, that's annoying. But at the same time, we all want to use him, right? And we should all have the opportunity to. I think in a perfect world, you don't have to pay to open packs. There should, you shouldn't be even allowed to. That's the perfect world where the player who plays more gets the better players, you know? Well, that's some old school train of thought where, you know, before the online craze and, you know, (laughs) playing Crash Bandicoot where you couldn't just put money into it to get the crystals, you gotta fucking go and get them yourself. But yeah. And yeah, I I think there is a perfect balance that could be achieved where, you know, you can have a nice amount of Ronaldo's out there where he's not impossible to get, where you can get him, but the rest of your team kind of sucks. You know what I mean? Sort of like, you know, how like a fantasy draft works. I don't know. Uh, like fantasy uh, soccer in like the Barclays, you have like a salary cap and you build your team. Like, wouldn't that be more fun? Like, then you can actually use players you want to fucking use. No one would have these absolutely stacked teams. You couldn't pay for the fucking things. And you could just use whoever you wanted. It's pretty simple. If you want to use Cristiano Ronaldo, guess what? You can't use fucking Messi next to him. That's fucking stupid. But I digress. So yeah, those are my two cents on Ultimate Team. Um, I'll make another video explaining career mode and why that's complete bullshit too. Especially when you're playing as a player. But, yeah, I'll come out with that soon, too. And, uh, yeah, thanks for listening. Uh, be sure to check out some of my other videos, such as the Road to Division 1 series that I'm doing right now. And maybe some of my COD stuff. Alright, peace.